Hello friends, in the last two lessons we learned how to find mean of group data using direct method and assumed mean method. In this lesson we shall learn how to find mean of grouped data using step deviation method. This method will give us mean with simpler calculations. We continue with the same example so that you can be assured that all the methods give the same mean. The Aryabhatta High School arranges a free medical checkup for their students. So here is the data for class 8 students weight. In 40 to 45 kg range there are 6 students. 45 to 50 kg there are 18 students. 50 to 55 kg range there are 12 students and so on. Let us start with the assumed mean method. We calculate the deviation di equal to xi minus a like we learned in the earlier video. We got di equal to minus 5, 0, 5, 10 etc. Look carefully all these values of di have a common factor. All can be divided by 5 which is the class size. 40 to 45 class size is 5. 45 to 50 class size is 5 and so on right. So all these deviations are divisible by class size. So we can divide di by class size to make it even smaller. So let ui equal to di by h where h is the class size h equal to 45 minus 40 which is 5 is the class size. So for the first row u1 equal to d1 by h which will be minus 10 by 5 which equal to minus 2. For the second row u2 equal to d2 by h this will be minus 5 by 5 equal to minus 1 and so on. Look at the ui column values are all in single digit now. We have made it very small values. So now we find the u bar which is the mean of u. For that we need to sum all fi into ui and divide it by sum of fi. Now values are so small that we can do calculations in mind. For the first row f1 into u1 equal to 6 into minus 2 which is equal to minus 12. For the second row f2 equal into u2 equal to 18 into minus 1 equal to minus 18 and so on. So sum of all the fi ui which is the sum of all the entire column will be minus 12 plus minus 18 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 which is equal to minus 25. To find u bar we divide it by sum of frequencies that is 40 here. So minus 25 by 40 which will be equal to minus 5 by 8 which is minus, minus 0.625. So x bar will be h times u bar plus a. So x bar equal to h times u bar plus a. This method is called step deviation method. So let's find the mean x bar equal to h times u bar plus a h is equal to 5 u bar is, is equal to minus 0.625 we calculated and a equal to 52.5 we took earlier. So x bar equal to 5 into minus 0.625 plus 52.5 the mean we get is 49.375 kg. So as you can see in all the methods direct assumed mean or step deviation gives the same value of mean. So that's all in this lesson. Bye bye.